Enrollment allows an operator to add, change, and delete users or cardholders. Finding a cardholder in Velocity is simple. Open Enrollment Manager. And once the Enrollment Manager is open, look at the left side of the window and there will be a list of each individual cardholder added to the system. To add a credential, again, open Enrollment Manager, then select Add New Credential. Then add the name. For this case, we will use code one. Then select a badge template, if there will be a badge created with this. For the IDF, we will stick with keypad, but again, there is a long list of all seven of the IDF types. If a type other than keypad, card information can be entered, and the code information can be entered here. Underneath function, the operator is able to choose what that specific code does when it is entered into the system. So with this code, what we're going to do is give it momentary access to our all doors group. Underneath the function category, you can access an access door, a relay, trigger an alarm, be a password, have a special function or trigger a function group. And then for each of these, there's also the function option. So it can access the door momentarily, which is what we will use. It can unlock that door, relock, or just toggle it on and off each time it is used. So let's keep it with momentary, select okay. And now that we have a function entered, we can look at the limits and options, which again are just additional options that can be chosen by the operator to customize what this specific credential functions as. So once all of our information is entered, I'm going to select OK. And now that credential has been saved. We'll scroll down, see the keypad, the ID, the information that is needed, and that is located here inside this cardholder. The seven credential or IDF types are keypad only, card only, dual, card plus dual, keypad plus dual, keypad plus card, and keypad card dual. Um, each will function differently depending on what type of reader is being used. So in the slide deck that you enter this video with, uh, I will have a chart with all that information to where you can look at that and memorize that as needed. To disable a badge, simply, again, an enrollment manager, find their credential inside of this card holder, find their credential, right click, then select disable. If this needs to be re-enabled, simply right click that credential again, click disable, and it will be re-enabled. When a credential is disabled, it will have the green check mark here that you saw previously, and now you see it here, and then whenever it is enabled, it will no longer have that green check mark.